How do AC units and refrigerators decrease their temperature? And how do we cool things past the temperature of their surroundings? This is all made possible by what's known as the Joule-Thomson effect. This effect occurs when a gas or liquid is pushed through a valve or plug which causes it to rapidly expand. This rapid expansion causes a change between the potential and kinetic energy in the closed system. When speaking in regards to Joule-Thomson cooling, we focus mainly on thermal potential and kinetic energy. Since temperature is defined as the measure of thermal kinetic energy, any increase in potential energy will lead to a decrease in temperature and kinetic energy in the closed system. This makes the expansion adiabatic in which heat does not leave or enter the system. Machines today, like refrigerators and ACs, use compressors in order to get more of a dramatic drop in temperature from the Joule-Thomson effect. Refrigerators specifically are constantly pushing air through their throttling systems, which causes them to continually hum. When liquefying gases such as oxygen or nitrogen, an extension of the Joule-Thomson cooling effect is used. This is known as regenerative cooling. The gas first enters the system where it is compressed and its temperature is increased. Finally, the gas is throttled into an insulated tower, where if it is still in a gaseous state after the throttling, it is recirculated to cool incoming gas. This process can occur several times before the gas begins to liquefy.